in 20 years, the Code of Conduct has had a very important role uh, in addressing ballistic missile proliferation, but also in kind of regulating uh, the way these systems are, are, are used. Uh, on the first element, I think it was really instrumental in creating a norm a norm that kind of assess the fact that uh, proliferating, uh, disseminating uh, ballistic missiles that are able to uh, carry weapons of uh, mass destruction is something that should really uh, be uh, refrained at the international level. So that, that's something really that in 20 years kind of gained some leverage. Uh, on the second element, it was also very important to uh, indicate that transparency and sharing information was a good practice for states that do have these systems. Uh, and so this is really uh, habits of uh, notifi notifying uh, launches, of providing annual declaration on uh, systems is also something that has contributed to, to security more, more generally. So the code has not uh, eliminated, of course, ballistic missiles. It's not its goal, but it has really created a framework and a norm to kind of uh, regulate uh, their use. So in 20 years, we've seen a couple of evolutions uh, on the code. I think the, the most important one is uh, the fact that we have seen the number of subscribing states really uh, increase. We were, there were 93 at the inception. They are now, uh, 20 years later, 143. So universalization has been a very important element. The second one is really the um, improvement in implementation uh, by states, so providing the uh, confidence building measures that are uh, involved, uh, notifying launches, uh, giving information on policies. This has really uh, been improved, uh, and not for political reasons, but also for technical reasons. For instance, the fact that there is now a platform, online platform, where states can easily upload their information uh, is, is something that has really made it easier for states to, to, uh, to respect their commitments. Uh, the last element would be uh, probably the support within the broader non-proliferation and disarmament uh, environment, especially at the UN, with a number of UN uh, General Assembly resolutions that have supported the code, that have been uh, supported by a great majority of the international community. So the code has become also more visible and more integrated to a broader uh, regime.